Hello everyone, this is Shubham and welcome to your API tutorial. So in this video, we're going to talk about um, our endpoint, right? So that's the main thing. So in the last few lectures, um, in the first like very first lecture, we have discussed like what is kind of, what is API and what is the use of it and how, why is it required, right? In the second lecture, we have discussed about the HTTP method and various status codes and several other stuff. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the endpoint. Okay, so you people must be wondering what is endpoint. So if I am not wrong, I'm gonna say, explain you the very basic um, explanation. So you can go and dig it more in uh, Google and you can find out by yourself more. But for the basic understanding, I'm gonna explain what is endpoint. Endpoint is nothing but an URL attached with this resource, path parameter and query parameter, right? Now you must be wondering what is path parameter, what is query parameter and what is resources, right? So I'll explain you one by one. First, base URL, right? So what is base URL? So and I'll tell you what is endpoint are built of. So it is gonna be built of the URL. It's resource or you can say source, uh, anything you can uh, call it. Then uh, it would be combined of, first is gonna be path parameter. Pardon me if my miss I'm spelling it wrong and writing it wrong and query parameter right now how we are gonna construct it because this is the place we're gonna hit uh, our API right API request or uh, so this is uh, so let's uh, segregate it let's discuss it one by one first is URL so with example suppose you're trying to log in Facebook right or suppose you have uh, gone up and you have searched something on google which is statically is an example of taj hotel so the url is going to get generated something like this or suppose you're going to go and you have searched uh, you've typed in google box or google search box facebook.com right so over here facebook.com is going to be your base url so you can write it fully www.facebook.com this is gonna be the URL, okay? Now, you're trying to log in, right? So when you're trying to log in, there are multiple API that this Facebook has to hit it. And from like multiple collection that needed to be hit, right? Under that particular API. So what API you needed to call? So first thing first, uh, what are you trying to do? You wanna try to see your profile or you wanna try to log in into Facebook or you wanna try and going for feed so these are the collection where it needed to be hit under uh, based on this API you're trying to hit, right? So this collection has to be followed. So this is gonna be your resource. So suppose I'm trying to go and I'm trying to search somebody's profile. So that is gonna be my resource over here, right? So now resource has been identified. Now, uh, so see, we are trying to build our endpoint, right? So we have covered two things. First is URL. So in this URL, you're trying to find this particular API. Now in this particular API, there are multiple, multiple collection, right? So that collection needed to be hit based on path parameters or query parameter. Now, what is path parameter query parameter? So if you're gonna write, if you're gonna generally take only path parameter, so you can go and you can write, I want a profile uh, of facebook.com. Like I, I want people's profile who are on facebook.com in a country called India. See, again, I am building it very basic. They, they might not be true when, when you're gonna hit it on a particular browser, any kind of browser, but I'm just trying to explain. I'm trying to segregate it one by one. You can directly go on Google and search and try it out for yourself. I'm just trying to explain you by uh, taking it module by module. So you are trying to find people who are on Facebook, you're trying to see the profile of people who are on Facebook from India location. Now, this is gonna be very uh, vast, right? There, are, there can be multiple people. So if you wanna try to fetch out all the people who live in India and have Facebook ID, has Facebook profile, that's gonna fetch you that. But if you wanna go with particular person, suppose you're gonna go with a person called sample, right? What are you gonna do? You don't wanna, you're not gonna go with path parameter rather you what you can do you can go with profile now over here comes with query parameter which is gonna filter it out or which is gonna sort the uh, result out for you and how do you recognize that you're gonna use query parameter basic and simple thing you have question mark over here you're gonna apply question mark and then something like see again this is for just a demonstration purpose you can go and try and figure out real uh, endpoint so this i'm just going trying to explain you suppose simple 
and that's um, and now you can uh, th th that's not mandatory that you have to have only one query parameter suppose there are multiple uh, people in india okay there are multiple people in india who who are having this particular stuff right um, like who are who are uh, having sample name right so uh, like who, who are having a name called sample and their profile up uh, available on facebook so they can there can be multiple people so what are you gonna do uh you're gone you are trying to be on profile right so you're gonna do query sample now you want people from sample particular state or sample particular state uh, city where these people like sample city okay so from this particular country from this particular city i want people who are naming a sample and i want to fetch their profile so what are you gonna write uh you're gonna again uh like you can add multiple query parameters you can multiple you can apply see the the, the way you do with sql queries right select this particular thing from this table where this and this and this and this are this so trying to filtering it uh, filtering out a lot of data right uh so if you want to apply more of query parameter you can just uh separate it with m percent sign and you can do it again suppose from sample city so this is gonna be your endpoint so when you're gonna hit your api it's gonna be hit on this particular stuff again this is for only demonstration purpose uh, it might be wrong but i'm just trying to explain you what is the endpoint so now what we uh so this is called the endpoint this is your url this is gonna be your resource this is gonna be your path parameter and then there are uh, with uh, question mark you can identify these are your query parameter so now when you're gonna hit this endpoint we are trying to make work with your api right so till now in this third lecture by this third lecture what and all we have discussed we have discussed the use of our apis right why it is required and uh, what is exa what exactly is api now in the second video we have discussed about different http method if you have, if you remember scrud operation get put post and delete right and in this third lecture okay the spelling is correct there's nothing wrong and the third third video what we have discussed we have discussed how to uh, separate and how to identify the different things present in your endpoint like we have uh, uh we have just uh, taken out the endpoint module by module and we have understood that right so in the next lecture we'll start with our manual testing uh we're not gonna call it manual testing because again api testing related tutorial but first we have to start and we have to start hitting the api using different collection different status code we need to understand different assertion smart assertion and what you're trying to expect and different kind of http method we need to hit and then we need to see sla how is the response time and how it's gonna behave so before jumping into the automation we're gonna do it functionally and we'll see how does this api behave how is this uh, testing because it's not front-end testing where you can see everything it is uh, services so we're gonna go step by step so for this lecture that's pretty much it we have discussed about endpoint and from the very next lecture we're gonna start jumping into our first api testing part okay till the time thank you so much and any feedback please come back to me and again this endpoint is for demonstration purpose you can directly go into google and you can find out you can segregate it and you can learn it thanks a lot